Happy Friday, everyone, and happy 4th of July weekend. Hopefully you guys are going to be as obnoxiously patriotic as me and my family will be, especially in these days. I want to thank so many of you for joining with us. I know there's a lot of new people on here now. Thank you for joining with us the last week as we've been fighting against big tech censorship and uh, specifically how they've come against my social media accounts. We have had an outpouring of support from congressmen to senators to the president's own son tweeting in our support. And I really want to thank you. We are going to continue to take a stand in this arena. But listen, something even more absurd happened last night. Um, I could not believe it. I was looking at my phone and I got an alert from the state of California and it said this, California bans singing in church. And I like, I had to like do a double take and then a triple take. I'm like, this can't be real. I thought it was like a Babylon B satire article or something. No, this is literal from the governor of California to the church. And I want to read the exact ordinance that was forwarded to me from a senator in the state government. It says this, discontinue singing in rehearsals, services, etc., chanting, and other practices and performances where there is an increased likelihood for transmission from contaminated exhaled droplets. How insane is that? That for the last several weeks, tens of thousands of people have been gathering outdoors in cities all across California, and they have been screaming and chanting and protesting. And all the while, the state officials are encouraging them as they do this. And then now, as the church wants to gather, just like we've been doing for thousands of years to simply worship God, they bring the hammer down against this. I mean, it's just, can you see the hypocrisy and how insane this is? And it really is time, guys, that we take a stand and that we fight back. Not only does this come against our right as Americans in the Constitution, but it comes against everything we believe as Christians. So we're going to take a stand and I want to encourage you. We have just created a pledge. It is called Let Us Worship. It's a very simple pledge that you can sign, you can pass on to your friends, you can post on social media. We would love to get thousands and tens of thousands of signatures on this simple pledge that we can make some noise to show the state of California that we are not going to back down. We're going to keep worshiping. We're going to keep singing. And in fact, tonight, I'll be gathered with the church in Northern California and we're going to be worshiping. We are not stopping. We believe in our religious uh, freedoms to do this and we're going to take a stand. I do have one other thing that I want to speak specifically to the governor of California. You know, we had a song growing up, um, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, ooh, baby, let my people go. You guys remember that one? And I was thinking about that and I thought, you know, I should just declare this Simple verse out of Exodus 8 to you, Mr. Governor of California. And it says this, verse 1. This is what the Lord says, let my people go so that they may worship me. Have an amazing weekend. Let's celebrate this incredible nation and let's worship our God freely.